Hi, and welcome to this section of the Calculus 3 Tutor. And in this section, we're going to continue our study of vectors and building our foundation for this entire class. And in this section, we're going to talk about the cross product of vector multiplication, so to speak. So just to review where we've been, we've talked about the concept of a vector. We've uh, learned how to calculate the length of a vector on, based on its components, just finding, using the distance formula and calculating the length of the magnitude of that vector. Okay, We've talked about the dot product, which is one of the two ways to, quote, multiply vectors together, okay? And in the dot product, remember in the last section, the dot product was the case when you have a vector and you're uh, dotting it into another vector. What you're doing is you're multiplying the magnitudes together, but you only care about the magnitude of the vectors that are going in the same direction. So if I were pushing that box and the box moves that direction, okay, so he has a, a displacement that he's moving, that's a vector in this direction, right? And if I'm pushing at him on an angle, the only thing that matters, if you're talking about the concept of work, for instance, force dotted with distance, the only thing that matters is the force acting in the direction of motion. The force going up and down doesn't matter at all, and the dot product is the math tool, so to speak, to get us the result we want. In this section, we're going to do something similarly, but uh, you'll see it's a little bit different. In this section, the cross product we're going to define is going to be the vector, quote, multiplication or the vector operation. When you take one vector and cross it into another vector, we're going to write it down and, and show you with pictures, but what's going on here is when you have two vectors that are crossed together, what you care about in the result is not the component of the vector in the direction of, of, the, of the other vector. You care about the component of the vector exactly perpendicular to that vector. Okay? So it's almost like a, an analog. Okay? For the dot product, when you dot two vectors, you care about the component of the vectors that go in the same direction. That's what you care about. In the cross product, you only care about the component of the vector perpendicular to the other vector. And the cross product is the math tool, so to speak, to actually let you do that. So let's write that down and let's go and look at some practical uh, real world stuff when, when that would be uh, useful. And in fact, the cross product is something you've, you've used every single day of your life. Anytime you tried to loosen a, a nut on it, <coughs> you know, with a wrench or open a door or any number of things. Okay. So let's go ahead and just dive into it. So what we'll, we will say, just to write it down, is the cross product the cross product, I'm going to underline it because it's a term here, of two vectors, of two vectors, uh, returns a vector. Okay, it returns a vector. That is, and I don't even think I've told you this part yet, that is perpendicular to the two initial vectors. the two initial vectors according to the right hand rule. Okay, according to the right hand rule. Okay, so I've given you a little bit of a prelude, but first I want to review what the right hand rule is, and we'll we'll tie all this stuff together here in, in a second. So if this if this def definition doesn't make sense, which I don't, I don't expect you to think it makes sense at this point. Just stick with me and it'll make sense here in a few minutes, okay? What is the right hand rule? Just to review. If I have a vector, and this vector is A, okay, and I have another vector, and this vector is a different vector, and so it's called B, okay, and I'm going to cross uh, B crossed with A, this X is uh, not multiplication from third grade. This X is, is actually called the cross product, B vector crossed into A vector, okay? Uh, I haven't even told you how to actually do this, this calculation yet, but as far as the direction goes, when you take B, okay, and you cross it into A, this is why it's called the cross product, take your right hand, okay, cross B into A, so you actually move your fingers and cut through B and finish into A and kind of curl your hand like this, the direction of your thumb is going to be the direction of these two vectors crossed together, okay? So this operation B crossed into A returns a vector. That's what it says. It returns a vector that is perpendicular to the two initial vectors, according to the right-hand rule. So if I have uh, B and I'm crossing it into A, I take my fingers, I cross it in, and I gain a third vector. And that third ve vector, in this case, comes straight out of the board, okay? And so that third vector, which is the answer to this cross product, it is perpendicular to the two initial vectors because when I cross it, you see, any vector coming out of the 